I'm Jordan Thompson. I'm Ed Stortro. For Coob.com. And today we'll discuss Kagan's Theater's fundraising efforts. Then we'll have a conversation with Dan Wyatt, the theater's owner. So July 23rd, Kagan's Theater launched their Kickstarter campaign. And they're looking for $85,000 to replace their projector and upgrade their sound system. In the end of 2013, major motion picture studios are ending prints for 35 millimeter. So in order to stay in business and show relevant content, they've got to get a digital projector. So what is what is Kickstarter? Kickstarter is, is one of many crowdfunding websites out today, like Indiegogo or Fund Anything. Instead of having a independent investor buy this projector or lend the money, we as Vancouver citizens, Clark County citizens, can invest into the future of Kagan's Theater. Then they get rewarded for that contribution. But kind of from my perspective, it's kind of like sending money into a black hole. Who's accountable for the funds? This is not like a lot of other Kickstarter campaigns where you're creating a new product, prototypes, and you can run into new obstacles. They are simply just purchasing something off the shelf that's already existing. Why is this campaign important to the citizens of Vancouver? The theater's been around since 1936, in the heart of Vancouver. So, for a lot of people, they identify Kagan's Theater as a landmark. It's not just a landmark from the outside. Once you walk in those doors and you experience the same feeling you did as a child, that's, that's totally different. So in a sense, what you're saying is that from the outside, it's, it's a historical landmark, but when you step in, it's a step back in history. Yeah. To the time of when you're young. I think that's a good way of, of saying it. Yeah. I mean, for me personally, I had my first film festival there. At the end of 2013, everything's going to be digital. But what are some of the benefits of moving from celluloid to digital world? Here's what Dan Wyatt had to say about that. Owner of the Kiggins Theater. Really, it's it's uh, driven by the economy of the, of the thing. Film is much more expensive, um, not only to shoot on, but also to, to distribute. And as you know, Kodak and Fuji and a bunch of these other uh, film firms are, are going bankrupt or have, have gone bankrupt already. So film is becoming scarce. So that's the first thing. They'd rather just send a file. Right now it's coming in on thumb drives or hard drives. Eventually it'll be satellite downloads. Um, but it's a, it's a pretty functional format. We like it. We think it looks better. We think it feels better. Um, it's less testy, if you will. If, if this project doesn't meet its goal, can you explain to me what, what the struggles are going to be, what the next stop would be? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure you're familiar with that Kickstarter is sort of a do-or-die platform. It's, they, they fund only if you reach the goal. Um, there's no even an authorization hold on on the debit card or whatever people submit as a payment until if and when the goal is met. Which we actually, while that model is a little scary, we like that because that is the the reality of the the digital upgrade. It's it's a it's a do or die itself for what the studios are saying go digital or go dark. Um, even with all the press and everything that's gotten out there, we we find there's a lot of people that don't realize that we're reopened and remodeled. Um, haven't come back and visited, so um, sort of my unofficial motto is the uh, McKiggins is beloved by all, but visited by few. <laughs> <laughs> Even at home, if you spend tens of thousands of dollars to have a great home theater, you're still missing out the, on the experience of the shared, you know, the community experience of watching a movie together. Comedies are funnier. It doesn't have to be a big budget action sci-fi thing. You know, sad movies are sadder, so to speak, in a cathartic way. I mean, it's enjoyable when you're with people, which I think is indicative of community in general. You know, I mean, we're, we're meant to be um, beings that interact. So if you want to contribute to this project, you can just check the link on our website or go to kickstarter.com and type in Kickin's Theater. Thanks, Ed. In the search window. In the search window. <laughs> <laughs>